WPW stands for the Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. This condition is usually congenital. By congenital I mean someone is born with something that shouldn't have been there. You may be aware that sometimes people are born with a squint or born with an extra digit on the hand or the toe. It's the same thing with Wolf, Parkinson, White. People are born with an extra electrical pathway that connects the top chamber of the heart, the atrium, with the bottom chamber of the heart, the ventricle. It's got a prevalence of 1 in 750, and it's a condition that predisposes to electrical re-entrant circuits. So the electricity should normally go down the normal pathway from the top chamber of the heart down to the bottom chamber of the heart in a very smooth fashion. If you've got two electrical circuits, what happens is that the electricity goes down, does a loop de loop on itself, and then can set up a circuit movement. Do -do 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 and that is sensed as palpitations in the form of a supraventricular tachycardia or rapid atrial fibrillation that the patient may feel and go to the cardiologist and say, oh, I've got palpitation, and it may be picked up on the ECG that they've got Wolf, Parkinson, White. Unfortunately, in some situations, the atrial fibrillation may degenerate into something called ventricular fibrillation, which is a death rhythm, and the individual may not live to tell the tale. So it's a recognized cause of sudden death. It's easy to diagnose, and there is a treatment for it. Diagnosing it usually relies on symptoms. Patients will go to the GP complaining of palpitation. The GP will refer on to a cardiologist who will perform an ECG. The ECG shows a short PR interval and a slurred upstroke to the QRS complex, making the diagnosis quite quickly. Once we've diagnosed the condition, it's controversial as to what we should do. My belief is that anybody young who has got a pathway that could potentially kill them should have that pathway assessed very, very carefully. We can do something called an electrophysiological study, which is invasive, it involves a catheter in the heart, that can work out whether this pathway is capable of conducting at very, very rapid rates. By that I mean, does it have a refractory period of less than 250 milliseconds? If it does, then there is good reason to get rid of that pathway by delivering some electricity around that area to kill the pathway off. And that is possible. And we, we recommend that anybody with Wolf, Parkinson, White, who is younger than 35, have this test done. And you may say, why have you got a cutoff of 35? What about the over 35s? Well, if most people over 35, if they don't have symptoms, I would not recommend any treatment because these pathways have a limited lifespan. They dwindle away with advancing age. It's very rare to see sudden death in Wolf, Parkinson, White syndrome below the age of 21. Very rare. So it's, di it's easy to diagnose. The next question is, should everybody be checked for it? Should screening programs be doing this? Well, in our experience, we've been going into schools, uh, schools that have invited this type of screening. We've gone into various sporting clubs. Some, in, 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 in some cases, these screens are mandatory, lawn tennis, rugby, certain Premier League football clubs, and we have identified a handful of people with Wolf, Parkinson, White syndrome who've never had any symptoms, and, and we have implemented treatments that have resulted in a cure. So it's very, I think it's very important that people are screened for these conditions. There are certain um, professions whereby Wolf, Parkinson, White will not permit continuing. For example, one cannot be a pilot, work in the police force, or in the army, with Wolf, Parkinson, White syndrome, unless the pathway is abolished. 